And that is why this one right up over here is super important because it's affecting a lot. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at the very first ever software update for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now we're finally getting that August 1st security patch and here we are August 31st, the last day of the month, at least they made the cut. Now I don't assume any brand new features to be a part of this update, but there should be a lot of bug fixes that is a part of this, especially on the back end of the Samsung and Google side of things, and maybe some newer versions of Samsung applications and services but that's what we're actually going to take a look in today's video. Now let's take a look really quick at the software information. Remember it is August 31st, but we are still stuck on that Google Play system update of April 1st. And then for our Android security patch, it is stuck on June 1st. So this is definitely a dire update for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Fold 6. So let's just go through, let's get this thing installed. After this is installed, which I guess I can't update this one because it is too low, but pretty much whatever I find on whatever I find on the Fold 6, we'll find on the Flip 6. So I'll charge this and then update it here in a minute. But basically, once this thing is updated, then we'll take a look at a few Samsung applications and services. We'll take a look to see if we can update our Google Play system update. I can also show you what is new with that. And we'll take a look at the Samsung mobile security page to take a look at all of the bug fixes, how much is severe, how much is moderate. But it's usually also at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now the update is complete. There is one screen that I forgot to kind of give you a little bit of details on and that was the software update info itself. So up over here when you take a look at some of the details, uh, the latest update that we just got ends in AXH7 and the size for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 was at 454 megabytes. For the Flip 6 it was at 446 megabytes. So to take a look at just a few applications first, we'll take a look at the camera, the gallery, and the home, and then we'll move on to some others. So for the camera, before the update, we were sitting at 14.10166. Looks like we have the same version here for the camera. Now if we take a look over inside of gallery before the update, this one's sitting at 15.50042. 15.50042 is there, so no new update there. And then we'll just take a look at home just to see if there's anything new here. But I believe that there was a home update that was actually through the Galaxy Store just a few days ago. But I'm checking anyways. So the home before this update was 15.5031. 15.5031. So no new updates in terms of these applications. A lot of this is just on the back end of things, mostly inside of the Google side and Samsung mobile security side. Now let's take a look over inside of the Galaxy Store just to see if there's anything sitting there because sometimes after an update there's a few applications that is sitting inside of there. Before the update there was absolutely nothing and currently right now there is still nothing. Now let's take a look at the Google Play system update you know before this update and for all the time that I've been searching so far we've always been stuck on April 1st. So you go inside of about phone you go to software information here's the Google Play system update and let's see if there's an update sitting there. I mean, April 1st is quite old. Hopefully we're on the list and looks like currently we are not on a list to get any updates. So hopefully Google and Samsung can talk this out because here we are on the Flip 6 and Fold, st Fold 6, still stuck on April 1st. Now let's take a look at the Samsung mobile security page. Again, this is for August of 2024. I've shown this off with the Galaxy S24 series. So all of the details here is the exact same. So there is one that is critical and this was the critical one that was affecting a lot of Samsung bugs as well. You can see that it's affecting all of these right there and usually that never happens. And I'll show you an example later, but this critical one in that big batch that you saw, that was for a, a critical uh, Qualcomm hardware improvement. So very, very important. You have about like 50 of them over here that is high and then none that are moderate. So all of these CVEs, these are dealing with the Android side of things, the Google side. When you take a look at SVE, these are the Samsung vulnerabilities. So this is where you have that Samsung vulnerability working with all of these Googles right over here. And this is why it's kind of crazy because you have the one Samsung with all of these Googles, but then you got one Samsung, one Google, one Samsung, one Google. So basically this is the way it's supposed to look like. There is one that's going with one because it is a vulnerability being fixed on the Samsung side with the Google side of things. And that is why this one right up over here is super important because it's affecting a lot. So really that is the majority uh, importance of this update is right here. It is because of this 
critical update that is stated right there for the month of August. Now there's nothing new just yet. Again, as I mentioned from before, we should see some newer features in the coming month or months, but hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.